Bulla and welcome to TavovoRugby.com Breakfast Bites, a wrap of daily sports highlights for today, Tuesday, 14th January 2022. This morning we start with another big congratulations to Fiji's newest All Black, Chiefs number 8, Peter Gasoai Kula, named yesterday with five other debutants. Prop Aiden Ross, Highlanders Rocket Halfback, Folau Fakatawa, Blues Utility Back, Stefan Perofeta, NRL Convert, Roger Tuivasa Shek, and Wing Lester Fainga Anuku. Those unlucky to miss out, I felt, were TJ Perinara, Brad Weber, Luke Jacobson, Ethan De Groot, Asafo Almoor, Tyrell Lomax, Shannon Frizzell, George Bridge, and Braden Enno. We all played for the All Blacks last year, but uh, didn't uh, make the cut this time round. The unluckiest player in all of New Zealand has to be Blues blindside flanker Tom Robinson. And a correction from yesterday, Game 5 of the NBA Finals is at 1pm today. In Rugby League, PNG Kummels and Melbourne Storm star and the reigning Dally M Centre of the Year, Justin Olam has confirmed his professional rugby league future, signing an extension which will keep him in the eye of the storm in Melbourne until at least the end of 2026. Olam has played 76 NRL games so far and in great form. And the big question perplexing um, Phil Gould's mind today, could Giant Ford and Penrith star Viliame Kikau play 5-8 for the Bulldogs next year? Well, Phil Gould thinks so, after the Fiji Mbati enforcer set up Isaac Tago's try with a brilliantly weighted grubber kick versus the Knights on Sunday. Kikau leaves Penrith at the end of 2022, remember? In boxing, after fighting his whole career on Sky Sports, the Anthony Joshua World Heavyweight title fight rematch against uh, Alexander Yusik in August will take place on streaming line DAZN. After his promoter, Eddie Hearn, negotiated a lucrative US $135 million a year deal with the streaming service for Joshua. And a bit of trivia for you. Nigeria recorded their biggest international football victory, beating Sao Tome and Principe 10-0 in an African Cup of Nations qualification match yesterday. Have you ever heard of Sao Tome and Principe before? It's a small island nation in the Atlantic Ocean, right up on the equator. And finally, in tennis, Wimbledon returns to a full house of fans soon for the first time since 2019. And this year, the iconic tennis tournament will distribute over U.S. $50 million in prize money, including $2.5 million each to the men's and women's winners. I just love Wimbledon for its world-famous strawberries on fresh cream. For TeVovoRugby.com, I'm Calden Kamir. Malo, Vinaa, and thank you. Please hit the subscriber button below if you'd like to receive more Breakfast Bites. And a big thank you for all your support.